Inside all of us lurks a serial killer. A killer whose primary function is to kill and then kill again. These are cytotoxic T cells, a specialized member of our white blood cells. They patrol our bodies, identifying and destroying virally infected and cancer cells. And they do so with remarkable precision and efficiency. There are about 5 million T cells in a teaspoon of our blood. And they kill their targets using poisonous proteins visible here in red. These cytotoxic granules move down special pathways in the cell called microtubules to the interface between the T cell and the cancer cell. The T cell punctures the surface of the cancer cell and delivers its deadly cytotoxins. This is very important in our bodies where cells are packed together, as it focuses the lethal hit on the target and minimizes collateral damage to the neighboring healthy cells. The fate of the cancer cell is sealed. The T cell then moves on, hungry to find another victim. Our cells work together in extraordinary ways. The heart, for example, is made up of muscle cells with a tendency to twitch. Separately, they twitch to their own rhythm, but together they beat as one. Millions of them work together to give us a heartbeat. These muscle cells survive This tube is called the axon of the neuron. Neurons are not alone. The brains of a human contain 100 billion neurons. If we were to walk through a single human brain at this pace, it would take over 300 years to just take a glimpse at all the neurons.
We are now zooming in up to a magnification of 20 million times. At this scale, a hair would be over a mile thick. Each neuron contains billions and billions of proteins. These proteins are tiny little machines, each designed to do a specific job. In the mid-19th century, scientists using powerful new microscopes found something never seen before, a mysterious structure lurking inside nearly all types of cells. It was equipped with two membranes and had the ability to change shape. Over the next hundred years, several biologists combined to uncover the secrets of this biological wonder. Most of a eukaryotic cell's ATP synthesis occurs in mitochondria. A mitochondrion is a sac within a sac and is an energy transformer where energy in fuel molecules such as pyruvic acid is transferred to ATP. Carbon dioxide, the carbon end product of cellular respiration, diffuses out, leaving the cell through the plasma membrane.